be doing a short tutorial on Daisy Commander. Uh, basically what it is, is it allows you to get into games on Daisy a lot quicker than what the normal Armour 2 servers would. Um, it also helps you set it up and it's easy to install and a lot easier and faster than normal Armour 2 servers. So first of all, before you do anything, you're going to want to download it. It's simple, just daisycommander.com. I will put a link in the description for those who can't type. And uh, once you've downloaded that and installed it, you're going to want to run it. And this is the first page that's going to come up. Now, before you start and do anything, you're going to need to click up here. It says install and update. You're going to see all these things and you'll see I've got Daisy Namals corrupt. The majority of the things will say not up to date, not found or need to update. Now, so say to Armour 2 needs to update, you just want to click install here next to the latest and more than likely you're probably not going to have DayZ, so you're going to click install there as well. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically find your Armour 2 files and then it's going to install them straight for you so you don't have to go through the hassle of manually installing DayZ. For those who are using Steam Armour 2, you want to go to settings first of all so that you can click down here, it'll say Steam options, you want to click launch using Steam and replace original Armour 2 OA files with beta so Steam works. And then once you've done that, you should be okay to start joining servers and anything like that. Another thing for the install and update is you've got all the maps here. So any maps that you want to draw on, your maps your friends have, well, every single map is here. And it will automatically download and install it straight to it so you don't have any hassle. Right. So now once you've got everything all installed and that, you can go ahead and find a server. You've got, on the left here, you've got a load of settings of third person traces, nameplates, crosshair, death messages, all the things that edit the in-game type. And then you've also got the hide the locked servers, hide the unofficial servers, hide the wrong type of servers that don't match your credentials of the things you have installed. And you've also got max ping and things like that. You've even got a filter so you can search for certain servers. Uh, up the top here you have your favourites. So I, I play quite a lot of Daisy, so I've couple of servers that I like a lot. Uh, you've got your friends, you can add some of your friends in and join straight off. And that's about it. Um, just a quick tutorial on DayZ there. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you guys soon.